Leafs new signing Oliver Ekman Larson tells the truth about GM Brad Treliving and how this is big for the Leafs going forward. Plus, we get a huge update on 6'7 goaltender prospect Dennis Hildeby, and I'm going to break it all down for you guys coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, got to say we're on the road for 5,000 subscribers here before the end of the summer. So if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you want to keep up to date on everything that's happening around the league, make sure down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's jump right into the first topic of the video today, which is the Hildebeast talks about progressing to the NHL. And yes, Dennis Hildeby has been one of those guys within the Leafs uh, prospect pool that has jumped off the page to a lot of fans, uh, off to a lot of media members of maybe this guy is the future of the net for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Obviously being at 6'7", he's a huge guy. He's shown to be a great goaltender in the AHL. And today we actually got some quotes from him about how he feels like, uh, how he feels he's progressing towards that goal of being an NHL goaltender. And uh, first thing he had to say here uh, was that you know it's not really something I think about a whole lot so he's more like kind of thinking about his own game he said I'm just trying to here to do my own race obviously the main goal is going to be getting called up eventually and get a start that's always what you strive for I think the obvious an answer answer is you don't really know until you try it out we'll see about that I'll try to do my absolute best and show them I'm ready mentally he also went on to say here that uh, the Leafs were happy with the year he had a lot of positive feedback and just told me to keep on the same path they show me that they have beliefs in me no one can predict the future just take it day by day and see how the season goes whatever happens happens and I think this is you know pretty big uh, to come out from such a young goaltender to say hey you know I'm just taking it day by day improving uh, progressing in my game to be an NHL goaltender and ultimately get that start in the NHL which every uh, goaltender wants you know growing up that they, they want to start an NHL game but it seems to him that he's not too worried about getting to the NHL he's just worried about the now being a better goaltender having an even better season than what he just already had and just showing this uh lease management that he's getting there he's going to be in the NHL one day and I think that's a good mindset to have as a goaltender because sometimes you know if you're worried about getting to the NHL too much that could uh, have negative impacts on your game but at Dennis Hildeby here he is shown to be a great goaltender in the HL in the minors and to hear from him that you know he's not too worried about it and that he's just working on his game to so we can get to that goal is pretty big and if we just take a look at his stats from last season uh, in 41 starts he had a 913 save percentage in the playoffs in three starts he had an 896 but he also had a 21 11 and 7 record uh, last year with the Toronto Marlies and I think this is a great guy to have in your back pocket here because obviously like I said standing at six Six, seven. This guy is a big goaltender and he's proven to be very solid with a 913 save percentage in the minors. I think we will get to see him. We will get, get to see him in a Leafs jersey at some point in his career. And I think, like I said, he's a great guy to have because if the Leafs end up dealing with injuries in the net this year like they did last year, they do have that insurance in Matt Murray. But they also do have a younger guy down there in the system like Dennis Hildeby who's, you know, ready. He's ready to get into that NHL game. And, and even though he's not necessarily worrying about it too much, he's taking it day by day and just being, you know, the goaltender that he knows he can be. I think that's the perfect mindset to have here because if you're always you know, wondering, oh man, when am I going to get called up? I just had a fantastic game. I just had a fantastic season. Why am I getting looked over? Why are they signing three more goaltenders? I, I think that might hurt your mental, um, your, your mentality uh, in the net and, and saying that he's just working day by day to get ready mentally to when that call comes in, he will be ready to step in the cage for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I, I love this. I love to hear this from such a young guy and Dennis Hildeby. I think this guy uh, doesn't get enough credit. I think he's a fantastic goaltender. I think this season in the AHL, we are really going to see him kind of have a breakout here. Even though he had a 9-13 last year, I think this year we're going to see him start to make those clutch saves and, and be that goaltender for the Marlies so they can have some success, which will ultimately lead to, lead to 
to success in his career where the Toronto Maple Leafs manage it. Maybe next season we'll look down and say, hey, maybe we don't need a backup signing this year. Maybe we can just bring up uh, Hildeby because he's just proven to be good for us down the Marlies. I think this is a great mindset to have, and uh, I'm really excited to see how the Hildeby pro progresses this season. And I hope we get to see him in a Leafs jersey, if not this year, next year. But we're going to get into the next topic of the video today, which is OEL speaks out on signing with the Leafs. And yes, obviously, this was kind of a controversial signing among um, Toronto Maple Leafs fans. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. Me, personally, I really liked it. But today, OEL talked about Brad Living and why he signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And he went on uh, to say here in an interview, he said, I'm a guy that always tries to go with my gut feeling. And when Toronto showed interest, I got that feeling that this is what I wanted to do. And this is what we wanted to do as a family. He also says, obviously, there's a lot of history in the organization. And I feel like they have a really good team that has a chance to do something special as well. I think it's a good fit. And I think he says this perfectly here. I think it's great to hear that, you know, he just kind of went off that gut feeling. Something came to him saying, yeah, I, I want to go to Toronto. And, and hearing that he thinks they have a great team, obviously a lot of players are going to say this. It's signing a new team. They're going to say, yeah, we have a great team. We have a chance to do something special. But just, you know, kind of having that, coming off a of Stanley Cup win, saying he has a gut feeling to go to Toronto, uh, it kind of, you know, alludes to maybe a possibility of the, the Toronto Maple Leafs winning a Stanley Cup. But I think he's right on the money here. Obviously, they have a great team. They have uh, so many stars. They're mad. Matthews, Nylander, Marner, and now they're adding a great offensive right shot guy in OEL who we've talked about a lot here on the channel, but hearing his mindset behind this decision is very interesting. It's not like, you know, someone came to him saying, hey, we want you. Like, he just kind of had that feeling that, you know, they're showing interest to me. I, I, I want to go to Toronto. I think that's a very good uh, thing to see from OEL, and he also went on to talk about uh, Brad Living here, uh, where he uh, went on to say that, I don't want to sound like I'm sucking up to him, but Brad is one unbelievable person. He said, I don't think Toronto knows how lucky they are to have a guy like that who cares a lot about his surroundings and organization and players. He said, the, and the other guy, uh, Shane Doan, he's okay too. He meant so much to me uh, for what he did for me when I was a kid in Arizona. Obviously, he OEL spent a lot of time in Phoenix and in Arizona. Uh, he said, uh, and he said, playing with a guy like that, I wish everybody had a chance to be a, around a guy like Donor. So maybe this was uh, a reason why he came as well because obviously Shane Doan taking off that role I believe was last year uh, and now he's coming back uh, and working with Doan uh, again which is uh, great as well but uh, just hearing this about Bradshaw Living saying you know that they should know how lucky they are to have a guy like Bradshaw Living is huge I mean this is huge for the Toronto Maple Leafs because I mean OEL has been a guy who's been around the block uh, recently. I mean, he spent a lot of time in Arizona, Phoenix, wh whatever they were at that point in time. But then he went on to Vancouver, and then he went on to... Uh obviously Florida so he's been around a lot of uh, management he's been a lot around a locker room so for him to come out and say that you know they, they should know how lucky they are to have him is huge because you know he says he cares a lot about the, the, his surroundings he cares a lot about the organization he cares a lot about the players is big because I mean when you have a player who's been there or been around so many teams to come out and say this uh, it, it's big because going forward it, it means Bradshaw Living, you know, he he's putting his heart and soul into this team, and he cares a lot about it. That he wants to see success, he wants to see a championship, he wants to see this team be the best that it can be. And obviously, yes, he says he doesn't want to sound like he's sucking up to him, but you might, you guys might brush this off and say, hey, this isn't that big. I mean, obviously, a new player coming in is going to say this stuff, but you know, we, you know, most of the time we rarely see players talk like this about a, a GM. Yes, they say always oh, great guy whatever whatever but he's saying you got to be lucky to have this guy because he he knows he's been there he knows what GMs mean to teams and hearing that Brad Living like puts his heart and soul into everything he does which obviously a lot of GMs do I know a lot of you guys are going to say that down below in the comment section but just to hear that from a player who's been around so many teams, it, it means a lot going forward because Brad's going to be making trades, making the hard decisions that need to be made to make this Toronto Maple Leafs team successful. And, you know, obviously he has great relationship with the players. He has a great relationship with the management, great relationship with the 
whole organization in general. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, comes down to the end of the day, when a tough decision needs to be made, wink, wink, trading Robertson, trading Mariner, he's going to have to make that decision for the for the better of the team and it just makes sense because he wants to win fans want to win the players want to win so someone has to be that guy to make the decisions to make this team a successful team so i i think this is just great news to hear today about bratch living about how devoted he is uh, to this team and just hearing from uh, one of those veteran players at 33 years old that we should be lucky to have bratch living as a gm is pretty big news to hear because I mean, when he came in last season, there was a lot of scrutiny on him. What He was left in a really bad situation with the whole core four. He had to make a signing with Matthews, had to make a signing with Nylander. This season, he has to make a signing with Mariner, a signing with Tavares. There's a lots of stuff that was left on the plate of Bradshaw living by Kyle Dubas. And I think he has treaded the waters carefully and done the right decisions here i mean last season we see him bring in bertuzzi and domi those were two big signings yes he may have made a mistake with klingberg but you know that, that that's it at the end of the day he, he was on ltir and they had that cap relief but i think now this offseason he really put his footprint on this team by bringing in guys like oel like um bringing back domi and so many other signings that he's made anthony stolars that have been just those key signings that the Toronto Maple Leafs need to be successful and just hearing that he cares this much about the organization and about winning is huge. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. We're going to get into the, everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today uh, goes to... Um, Jay Mondo, shout out Jay Mondo. He's one of our number one supporters here on the channel, I would say. We see him commenting all the time here. He says, Montour would have been a huge signing. Oh, well, we move on. And yes, Montour would have been great, but, you know, you, you can't have it all at the end of the day. It would have been great to see him in a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, but that's all you can do. I think he would have helped this team out drastically, but, you know, you can't get everybody you want. <laughs> but appreciate you, Jay Mondo, for uh, commenting on the video. I uh, always see you down there, and it really means the, the world to us for you showing your support uh, on the videos here but if you guys enjoyed this one make sure down below hit that like button helps push these videos out to all the least fans on youtube plus uh just comment on the video you might be featured on the next comment of the day just like our buddy jay mondo and subscribe to the channel like i said we're on the road for 5 000 subscribers by the end of the summer so if you're not subscribed already make sure down below and hit that subscribe button and if you want to check out a video we did the other day it'll be popping up on your screen right now but as always i've been your host kc we'll catch you in the next one